Lagos City played host to the unveiling of another entrant into Nigeria's exciting tech ecosystem. Cassie Cloud Limited brought together members of the Lagos State Government and Nigerian Sovereign Investment Authority, NSIA, which is a financial backer of the company for its Cassie Foundry Happy! Ribbon Cutting, which featured a tour of its high-tech facilities that house the Cassie Hyperscale Data Center. A moment that recognizes the hard work they've put in the past month. The event also featured a graduating ceremony of the Cassie Academy graduates who all have roles at the company that range from mechanical engineering to sales operations support. Thank Cassie so Cloud Limited co-founder and CEO Mr. Johnson Agoboa shared his thoughts on the significance of the event. Today is a very important day. It's a big down payment on the promise that Cassie is making to the broader community, uh, to its ecosystem. Uh, Cassie in April broke ground. We were fortunate to have Mr. Governor to join us in breaking ground in our hyperscaler, our hyperscale data center. That is going. What our ecosystem partners, our global partners have been asking is a place that we can co-develop today, that we can actually start bringing the cloud to Nigeria today. And that's what the Cassie Foundry is. To cut the ribbon on Cassie Foundry is to say Nigeria is now open to use cloud here now. Uh, for local cloud uh, ecosystem partners, for local uh, integrators, for developers across Lagos, across Nigeria. They now have a place to be able to bring the ideas of tomorrow to realization today. So I believe that Nigeria is um, at the precipice of incredible growth. So if you think about digital infrastructure, it is the reason that we now have economic development. Everywhere else in the world, when you look at the ecosystem, they basically invest in the infrastructure. This is all the elements that enable digital infrastructure to actually thrive. So once you start doing that, that means that there's more economic opportunity for the people that are here, for the businesses, and everything starts to expand. What's important about the, the foundry today is that basically Cassie is creating an environment in which developers, cloud players, integrators, and enterprises can come in and experiment on the technology that they want to actually deploy. And it's built on hyperscale infrastructure. So we're bringing what is happening around the world to Nigeria now. And that allows them to be able to now find out what's possible and scale it quickly in preparation for when they open their data center next year. I think um, it's the beginnings of a, a new sector in, in the Lagos State technology ecosystem. The, the foundry and by extension the hyperscalar data center that is coming is opening up a new opportunity uh, for companies across the technology ecosystem to localize their workloads, thereby saving them costs. So this is very important and the graduation today of uh, the trainees um, is also another addition to the ecosystem. So you have the talent, you have the infrastructure, and you have the government support. So it's a new ecosystem that is about to grow. We can provide services that people typically get abroad. We can now provide them locally. And so economic value is being created locally. So it's, it's multiple, uh, it's, it's a ripple effect of, of things that are happening today. Later that evening featured a thought leadership dinner hosted by Dean Nelson. Literally one of the funnest things I've ever done in my career is stand in front of students and see what we can actually do for their future. Chairman and founder of Infrastructure Masons, who presented an education championship medal to Mr. Johnson Agogwa for the work Cassie Cloud Limited has done in educating youth in technology. With Nigeria's growing population, which includes growing businesses, comes the need for adaptable technology infrastructure able to scale appropriately to meet those needs. Cassie Cloud Limited has announced its intention and ability to meet those needs for Africa's largest economy. Rhoda Sodiri, Arise News.